Hi, I'm Rachel with Cardiac Rehab, and today I'm going to talk to you about interval training. So today I'm on a treadmill, and we can do interval training many ways. You can use a treadmill at home, you can go walking in your neighborhood. The idea of behind interval training is just to change up your intensity, whether you're gonna change up your speed, change up your incline, and push for 30 seconds, maybe a minute, and then allow your body to recover at a slower speed or less incline. So right now I'm warming up. You always wanna spend a few minutes warming up. And I have you know, no incline on my treadmill. So if you can pick a route, if you're out in your neighborhood that starts off flat, that's great. If not, maybe downhill. Or if you have to go right uphill off the bat, just go at a nice, slow, steady pace. So say we've been walking for a few minutes here. I'm gonna bring my speed up a little bit. So this is my interval here, and you can do this interval for any duration you'd like. 30 seconds, up to a couple minutes, and then you're gonna recover. So say I've been doing this for two minutes. I'm gonna bring my speed back down. I'm gonna recover. Again, if you're out in the neighborhood, you're the person deciding your pace. So you can speed up, slow down, whenever you need to. You can be really strict about the time duration of these or not, but you could also just continue to go by how you feel. Think back to that exertion scale we teach you. Your exercise should be somewhat hard to hard. That's about 12 to 13 to 15 hard on the scale. We want to stay away from super easy or super hard. If you're going out with a family member or friend, try to keep safe distance right now, but just checking in with yourself you be in control of your speed, you be in control of your workout. Should be at a conversation pace, maybe a little bit harder as you push. So say I've been going for a few minutes, I feel recovered. I'm gonna bring my pace up slightly, but I'm gonna simulate being out in the neighborhood. So there's a hill up ahead. So I didn't bring up my pace too much, or you could keep your same pace. But I have a little bit of an incline I'm going up right here. So if your neighborhood's really hilly and it's a lot of uphill, what you might need to do if you get tired on your hill is you're gonna bring your pace down. Bring my pace down a little. If you're on the treadmill, you can easily control all factors, right? So whenever you get tired, you can just bring that incline down. So I'm gonna bring mine back down to flat, okay? So wanna be working up to 20 to 30 minutes of a workout. 20 to 30 minutes might be a lot to do your intervals. So maybe towards the end of your walk, you just walk at a slow, steady pace. You don't have to be doing the interval routine the entire workout. It's just a way to keep yourself interested. If you don't want to use time, you could, you know, to the next mailbox, I'm going to walk a little faster. And then I'm going to take three mailboxes to slow down and recover. This can be done on any mode of cardio equipment so if you have a bike you can vary your resistance you can vary your speed helps make the time pass a little bit quicker and improve your endurance at the same time you're pushing yourself a little bit and you're backing down to recover because if you tried to push for the whole workout you'll burn out and get tired so pushing and backing off allows your body to try something new and improve your endurance so try out some interval training for your next workout and let me know how it goes. Have a great one.